Hello and welcome to Make It Fix It Daddy. Today's video is the assembly video for the Doolet Toaster, the third of three videos. I'm currently disassembling the three elements of the toaster, the outside, the middle, and the other outside. They're all connected with bus bars, brass bus bars, uh, attached to each element with a screw, uh, two washers, and a nut. I included the entire length of my uh, reassembly video, primarily due to the fact that I made mistakes, and you will see those mistakes as we proceed. Uh, currently, I am attaching all of the wiring prior to installation, since I'm dealing with a rigid wire and not a strand wire, or I should say a solid wire instead of a stranded wire, it's not very flexible and can be damaged if you flex it too often. So I would recommend that you assemble all of the panels together minus connecting the wires and do your final attachment once the elements are in each of their slots and all connected together. It's a lot easier to assemble as you see uh, while it's outside of the toaster however right here you'll note I determined my fatal mistake and end up having to take it all apart yay for me luckily I noticed the error quickly and didn't do much backtracking after final assembly I check continuity to determine if I have any shorts tighten the uh, retainer you can see here the base assembly before the sides and top, the electromagnetic timer and the connections that uh, are best made once the sides are uh, fastened in place. When I do the final assembly, I kind of loosely uh, add in each screw to uh, bring all the pieces together and tighten down once everything's assembled and settled correctly. Under here, you can see the three brass bus bars uh, assembled with the nuts, bolts, and washers. You can see, yeah, I'm just hand tightening uh, prior to uh, a final tightening on, on all the screws to keep it all together. Using that uh, bamboo skewer to uh, clean out a lot of the nitty gritty that was in the cracks And just hand kind of lightly tightening then tightening everything down again testing continuity note to self never mess with electricity until you've tested continuity everything ended up working out fine uh, put on the crumb catch and then put on the feet note that as you're placing uh, one of the feet is an adjustable foot uh, to, to level it out. Make sure you place it in the right place. Tested it, plugged it in, started the timer, made sure everything was working. You can see the discoloration on the bridge. Once uh, current was run through it, it turns black, blackish blue and kind of disappears. And everything works the way it should. If you find this video interesting, if you find it useful, Please hit subscribe, leave a comment below. I appreciate it. It gives me feedback so I can make these videos better and not as boring as the old ones used to be. Thank you.